In this tutorial, we're going to work towards uh, building a VR escape room in Unity. But the first step is to start with a blank project and um, set up VR support. So in Unity Hub, um, we would go new project. And then my goal is to author for Quest 2 in this case for standalone VR on the Quest 2 headset. Um, in my experience at the time of making this, I still wanna be on the built-in um, render pipeline. Uh, Unity will tell you that the universal render pipeline is ready to go and um, uh, I, I find it hard to get good performance on the Quest 2 with the universal render pipeline at time of recording. Um, so I'm sticking with 3D for now. In the near future, I'm sure uh, URP will, will, will be the future. But at this moment, um, I'm going to choose 3D. And um, I'm going to give it a name. And I will uh, hit Create Project. So I'm building this project in Unity install version 2021.3.16f1. Um, and I'm doing it uh, in a, um, a university computer lab. Uh, for that reason, I want everybody sort of sticking on that same version. We're not going to, you know, have our lab managers like upgrade or reinstall, you know, every couple of weeks just to keep up with the latest, you know, incremental um, increase in version. Um, and the thing with Unity, as opposed to uh, programs like um, you know, Adobe Creative Suite or something like that. It's very common for developers to kind of uh, pick the latest long-term support version when they started the project and just stay there. <laughs> so as you can see, I have many, many installs of Unity on my system um, that all support some particular project. Um, it is possible to upgrade a project, but with big version changes, uh, it's not uncommon for things to break scripts to be handled differently or things that used to be supported to not be supported any longer. Um, so uh, we're going to be on a 2021.3 long-term support version. Uh, anything I say probably will work for, for versions like that, you know, uh, this or newer until they change something big. Um, so anyway, if you're following along, 2021.3. something is probably going to do it for you. If you want to know how to set up uh, VR support from an absolutely blank slate, a blank project in Unity. Um, I will show you that in this tutorial. I'm also going to provide a template um, where I've done all this already because uh, I've found that on Mac, um, some of these steps are not possible to complete at the time of recording. Okay, so this is what Unity looks like, um, sort of blank slate. I'm going to make a couple of adjustments just to uh, make the user interface a little more to my liking. And um, then we need to install um, some VR support, some packages uh, that allow us to, to connect to the VR headset and controllers. Um, so we're going to go up to Edit, Project Settings, and then down in the bottom left, we're going to choose XR Plugin Management. And we will click Install XR Plugin Management. OK, so when that installs, you then have a choice of plugin providers. We're going to choose OpenXR um, because it is the most uh, open. It supports most um, headsets on the market. And um, that too will take a moment to install. And when it does, the first thing it will say is, hey, this uses the new input system. We have to restart to support that. Um, and we're good with that. We want to use the new input system and we haven't done anything in our project yet. So there's no problem um, restarting. Okay, when Unity comes back from restart, it's gonna give us a warning. Um, there's a problem with your settings. So we can click that warning and um, it tells us, that you have to have at least one interaction profile. Now, what this means is we need to tell it what kind of controllers to support. So we just click Edit. And here where it says Interaction Profiles, it'll say List is Empty. We want to add something to this list. And I'm going to add Oculus Touch Controllers, Valve Index Controllers, 
Um, let's go ahead and do the Microsoft uh, motion controllers and the HTC Vive. Um, you could do everything, but in, in my view, these are the, the general ones that folks might, um, might encounter. Um, the other thing that I want to point out here is this is the, the window <laughs> where Mac users uh, at the time of recording will be like, but wait, I can't do this. Um, in my uh, testing, I have found that this window just comes up blank, like blank gray on, um, on Mac OS uh, Unity. And I don't fully know why that is. Um, I understand that like you can still push forward developing for Android um, on Mac, but it feels like if I can author for Mac on Windows, why shouldn't I be able to offer, author for Windows on Mac? I don't know, it looks like a bug to me. But because we um, in class are, are developing on Mac, um, I'm providing a template that has already gotten past this step um, because it, uh, it actually works when you open the template that's been made on a PC on a Mac, you just can't set this up on a Mac. Um, okay, the other thing that you're gonna need to do is jump over from this Windows, Mac, and Linux tab over to the Android settings tab. And in that case, we want to add the um, Oculus Touch controllers again. And we also want to add Oculus Quest support. Um, inside the settings for this, you can just double check that it's supporting Quest and Quest 2. If you only wanted to support Quest 2, you could uncheck that. So this pane of settings is um, what we're going to support on the Quest headset. Um, this one is for tethered VR um, when we're playing attached to a computer. The next thing I'm going to do in these settings is go up to Package Manager on the left side, and I just want to make sure that I have Enable Pre-Release Packages checked. Um, at the time of recording, uh, I don't know that I will be using any, but um, with XR development, it seems so common that um, we want to use the, the latest support or some new feature that's in uh, a pre-release or beta kind of package that I feel like it's just um, might as well have this on because we're going <laughs> to we're going to use it. Next, we're going to go up to window and open the package manager itself. So here are the packages in our project. Um, all of these are either default or the things we just installed, like the OpenXR plugin and XR plugin management. I want to add uh, a couple more things, and I'm going to add them by name um, directly rather than going through um, the list of, of Unity's um, packages. The reason is adding them by name is going to guarantee that we get the, the latest version, and some of these we need um, the latest version. Uh, so I'm going to go up to the top left where the plus sign is and click that and do add package by name. Um, I'm going to type in uh, the name of the XR plugin management um, package. Even though we just got it, I have found that uh, uh, sometimes it'll bring down like 4.0.2 or something instead of the very latest version. Um, so we're going to do com.unity. XR.management and um, then hit add. So that just uh, kind of reloads and makes sure that it grabs the newest version. Um, we have one more package that we need to get. Um, and the way I'm finding the, the name of this one um, is to just go up here where it says packages in project. I'm gonna choose Unity Registry instead these are all the general packages that Unity kind of makes available to you. And as I scroll down, I find the XR Interaction Toolkit. Um, this one uh, governs sort of all the interactions that we're going to use in our project. But again, in this case, I want to make sure I get the absolute newest uh, version of this. So rather than just hit install here, I'm going to type in this to my add package by name. So I'm going to do com.unity.xr.interaction.toolkit and hit add. So in that case, as you might have noticed, um, the, the one that was just in the Unity registry was version 2.0.4. Uh, 
but um, when we add it by name, it jumps to version 2.3.1. And um, even though that's not marked as a pre-release, it's only coming to us when we add it directly by name. So that's why I'm going through the trouble. Um, okay, similarly to the, uh, to the input system, this is another warning about like, okay, we're gonna change some of your settings and um, I'm just gonna say, that's cool, I made a backup, go ahead. I didn't actually make a backup in this case, but there's nothing to back up since it's a blank project. If you were adding this to a, a project where you had a lot of stuff um, already, then yeah, you should make a backup before you add these things. Okay, finally, now that we have the XR Interaction Toolkit set up, the last thing I wanna do before we leave the package manager is to twirl open this thing that says samples. There's a couple of extra assets that we wanna pull down. Um, they are the starter assets. We're gonna hit import on that. And then um, for our purposes, where I wanna support developing um, when you don't have a headset attached to your computer or when you're working on uh, Macintosh, I want to grab the XR device simulator as well. So I'm gonna hit import on that. Okay, and with those two things added, um, I'm finished in the package manager for now. So I'm going to close it. So that's kind of the boring settings part. We now have everything we need to build our, um, our very first uh, and most basic XR or VR um, experience. I'm going to right click on the hierarchy and create a 3D object plane. Um, I'm just going to make it a little bigger than it comes in by default because I know I'm, I might want a little space to walk around. So I'll make it like 10 on the X and 10 on the Z just so I'm not running out of floor anytime soon. And um, then I'm going to delete the main camera um, because what we're about to bring in is a whole um, VR player rig that comes with its own camera attached. Uh, we're gonna find that inside the XR samples that we just downloaded. Um, so inside, down in the project uh, pane of your user interface, we're gonna go inside assets, samples, XR interaction toolkit, the version you downloaded, then um, starter assets. And uh, finally, we're gonna grab prefabs. And we're looking for this, the um, complete XR origin setup prefab. So we're gonna click and drag that into the hierarchy. And this is, a, as described, a complete um, XR rig. Uh, inside of it, it has a bunch of um, helper objects, um, an input action manager, an interaction manager, an event system, and then it has the XR origin, which is our player. That has a camera and hands um, that are already pre-set up with various um, interactions um, by default. So if we were to hit play right now, it would fire up in our headset. We would have controller support um, and headset support, uh, but we can't yet move around, and if we try to teleport, um, that doesn't function yet either. So in future tutorials, I'll show you how to set those things up, uh, change these ray interactors if you want them gone, or at least to look different. Um, so we can change all those defaults. Um, but by now, we have the basics of um, VR support in our Unity project, and this uh, is essentially the state of the um, template that I provide so that folks on Mac can kind of skip um, those setup steps that aren't possible right now on uh, Unity for Mac.